Wardrobe essentials are clothing items that most everyone needs in their wardrobe, right? But just because they're essential does not mean that they have to be basic. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. And today I have eight easy, cheap, and sustainable DIY ways to elevate your basics. Everything that I'm gonna be talking about, you either have it in your wardrobe or you can find it for really inexpensive prices at your local thrift store. My core wardrobe essentials have pretty much all been purchased at the thrift store, like the ones that don't need any DIY, like this amazing Christian Dior trench coat that I found. It will never go out of style and it will be with me forever. And can you believe I thrifted it? I'll put the price, I can't remember, but I think it was $1.25. As well as this blazer right here, amazing find, and this linen blazer that I have on, which is perfect for summertime. But let's talk about taking those basics to the next level. All right, first up, one of the most essential things to have is a white t-shirt. Something that you just wanna have in general because it goes with anything, jeans, you can put it on with dress pants and wear it to work, but what if you wanna take it to the next level? Here's a couple of things that you can do. I had this basic white t-shirt and I wanted to add a slit in the front. Just something that gives it a little drama, a little interest, and you really could add that slit anywhere. And if you're not interested in sewing or anything like that, I do have a scissors only technique. I've done a ton of videos on it. Um, once you learn this technique, you can definitely take your t-shirts and do all kinds of things with them. Actually, you can transform them into more than t-shirts. But even if you just want to keep it in a t-shirt and do something really simple, think about this little ruffle at the bottom. It adds another little layer. You can also add a peplum layer in case you're interested in lengthening that t-shirt as well. And of course, all of the full DIY tutorials that I am going to mention to you are linked in the description box below in the order that I'm gonna mention them. So definitely check that out if you're interested in doing these for yourself. All right, so next up is something that is almost essential everywhere in the world, especially here in the US, and it is jeans. We can't get enough of jeans, and I absolutely love thrifting jeans. Like a lot of the jeans that I thrift, I don't have to do anything to, but what if you just wanna add a little extra detail? Wide leg jeans are so in right now, but not necessarily the easiest to find at the thrift store right now. So here I took a really good pair of tapered jeans, added a triangle on the side, and you can make them straight leg or wide leg jeans depending on how big the bottom of your triangle is. Something else that is really trendy right now is just this simple thigh cut. Just take a pair of jeans. I love doing this on like a mom jean a high waist mom jean but you could really do it to any jean and just simply cut it along the thigh and matter of fact you could do your cut wherever you want it to throw it in the washing machine and dryer to make it fray and uh it just comes out so perfect and last up if you have a little bit of hand sewing patience try adding embroidery to your jeans you could do any design you want i decided to do a single line face drawing this is actually my first time embroidering and i absolutely love these jeans these are some of my favorite pair of jeans to wear and with a simple white t-shirt, it just gives just the right amount of interest. So it is so much more than base. And third up, something we definitely need is a white blouse. Now on this channel, I've made all kinds of white blouses, but I did title this easy. So I am going to try to keep it easy. I will add some others in the description box below so that you can have some more options. But one of the essentials is a fitted white blouse or button up. So if you can't find one that fits you just right, you can go either into the women's or the the men's department grab a white dress shirt and then just taper it along the side so that it fits you exactly how you want it to here i was trying to go for that y2k effect but you definitely don't have to do that you could just taper it so that it fits you just how you want it to and then just tucks inside your pants to give you that really nice crisp look something else you could do if you want to get a little bit more dramatic is try doing a half and half blouse here the video was all about sleeves but an idea that you can take from that video is to take two different color button ups and take them down the middle, just one seam, literally just one seam. And now you have something that is definitely elevated. I did it in the white and black, which are both still very classic, but of course it's giving more drama and more interest. And lastly, like I said, that particular video was about sleeves. So another thing that I did was take a men's dress shirt and add these balloon sleeves to it um, from another dress shirt. And this is one of my absolute favorite blouses right now. So if your skills are a little bit higher, then you could try that. And I could wear it as a 
a blouse or a shirt dress. And speaking of shirt dresses, I think right now everybody needs a white or another color shirt dress in their wardrobe. I've been seeing them everywhere and I'm so interested in them, but did you know that it's super easy to make a shirt dress from just two men's dress shirts? All you have to do is take the second dress shirt, cut out a panel the length that you want to extend it, cut out the first shirt and add that panel in the middle. Bada bing, bada boom. Now you have a shirt dress and you can customize it exactly how you want it. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? We are doing some amazing things on this channel. And if all you see is my compilation videos, it's because that's what you've been watching. Definitely check out some of these videos or the list in the description box. And it will tell the algorithm that you're interested in more than just compilation videos because we are doing a series of upcycling our dream Pinterest wardrobe. And oh, it is just going so well. You don't want to miss any of that. And I wanted to let you guys know that I am starting a second channel just just for those of you who like to put on my videos to sew with. So if you want something that's a little bit more calming or if sewing sounds are something that soothe you and make you calm, then that's what that channel is gonna be about. It's called Blueprint ASMR. So I'll put a link for that in the description box. And if you are interested in planning out your upcycles, I do have an upcycle planner for purchase and you'll see the link for that pop up right here. And if you are a subscriber and you want to become a member for behind the scenes content, as well as opportunities for classes with me, definitely hit that join button right next to the subscribe button to learn more. All right. So here's something from that series I was just talking about. We just did it and it turned out so good. And it's a little black dress. Everybody needs one, but you might not necessarily find the one you're looking for. Here's an easy way to make one. I took two skirts and I used the longer skirt, especially the lining on the inside and turned it up and gathered it and added it to a rib skirt and used that as the dress part, added straps. And now we have a little black dress. And the amazing thing about this, as easy as it was, it can actually be worn three ways. I know it is crazy for a 20 minute dress to be able to be worn three ways. That just absolutely boggles my mind. And for number six, if you want to do a little something, something to your blazers, here is a really cool trick. A while ago, I took a blazer and I cut out some pieces of it and added lace there. It, especially if you are into hand sewing, you may not necessarily know how to sew with a sewing machine. This one is perfect for you. And you don't have to cut out the panel so that it is see-through. You can just add lace or other materials on top just to give it a little bit of interest and cause it to stand out. And next up is something that we are seeing everywhere, but it really never goes out of style and that's a good denim skirt. You can actually take your old jeans and turn them into a denim skirt. Maxi skirts are especially trendy right now. You can definitely go ahead and cut those jeans open, cut it up the crotch, overlay it, and sew it together. If you don't want the inside showing, just add another denim panel right there in the middle. And then you can also, if the jeans are too big for you, you can follow those same steps, but also cross it over to give a really, really edgy effect to your denim skirt. And if you know how to do a basic straight stitch, both of these tutorials are very easy. And last up, in the fall and winter, you definitely need some sweaters. Here's two ways you can elevate your sweaters. And the first one is no sew, completely no sew. You're going to take some black cording and some washable fabric glue, and you're just going to make a design. Make sure you put it on the front and the back. That makes it look more elevated, more expensive. And you make whatever design you want, put it on there and let it dry. Then you'll tuck the rest of it into the side seam so nobody sees and nobody will ever know that you did it yourself. And then secondly, what about those loosely woven sweaters? A super long Long time ago I did this still love it you can take some flat faux leather cording or whatever type of string recording you want to do you can even use yarn and then just take it and weave it in and out of the sweater and it's super cute to leave a little bit of it hanging down in certain places just get creative with it and make something completely unique to you and that's it I hope this was helpful as you can see I really pride myself on being myself, not being a cookie cutter version of another person. And I just think that when we do a little bit of something to our clothes, it definitely helps my clothes to represent my unique personality. And that's what I love about fashion. And I would love to see you guys version of these. Definitely tag me on Instagram and I would just love to see it. And sometimes you guys do ask me what lipstick I'm wearing, if I'm wearing a new lipstick and it is a new lipstick. So instead of just like not answering you guys questions because the lipstick is right, not right in front of me, I am wearing the Drew Barrymore Fly Flower lipstick. It was given to me um, when I was leaving the studio. They have a rack where you can pick what you want. So I really um, enjoy that part of it as well. And I line my lips with this one. It is the 
a scribble stick in 35 plum sickle and then the main lip color is the bitten lip stain in the color temp and i have a whole host of other videos for you to watch right here and i will see you guys in the next one all right bye